I love from it. You're gonna know everything and I'm also gonna swatch everything too. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you can be notified every time I upload. And without further ado, let's jump into this Mer makeup. All right, so to start this look, I'm gonna be doing some skincare with you guys because Tarte has some new skincare products I really wanna try. And I have the Mer makeover box. It has all really cool stuff in it that's new. But I'm first gonna pop on the Lip Quench in Nude. This is one of my favorite products from Tarte. It is so hydrating and these come in different shades, but I really like this one because it is the most like natural looking and it's kind of like a chapstick, but it feels so much better than that. So we're gonna be playing with the Mer Makeover box here. So they have this on Tarte's website, but I just looked and it's currently sold out. It is $65. So there is a hyaluronic H2O serum called Mermaid Skin, and this is supposed to seriously make your skin feel so hydrated. And I have no moisturizer on right now, so I'm dying to put this on my face. So this is what the bottle looks like. I think the name is so, so cool. I love that, and this looks really hydrating. So this is an H2O serum. It is $42, and it says here, splashes skin with intense moisture without feeling greasy, heavy, or sticky for plump, dewy skin. It says that we can apply this to the face or neck for instant hydration. Ooh, this feels really nice. So right now it feels very like wet and it kind of feels like I'm putting water on my skin. It feels really, really nice and it is drying really fast, which is great. Ooh, ooh, I really like this. So the reason why I do like this is that this is not like a greasy serum at all, which makes me so, so happy. This is really lightweight feeling and it literally doesn't even feel like I have anything on my skin. My skin feels quenched, but it doesn't feel like greasy or anything. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more on. This stuff is kind of addicting, honestly. It feels so good. I'm gonna go over the top of the mermaid skin with Brighter Days Moisturizer. I am gonna layer this on top because my skin does feel a little bit dry still. This did hydrate it a bit, but it soaks in so much that I don't feel a lot of hydration from it. I kind of like to use Brighter Days as almost like a primer when I use it because I typically like using really kind of like moisturizer type primers. Today I'm gonna to be using the water foundation from Tarte and this is the Rainforest of the Sea foundation. So I like this foundation because since it is a water foundation, it feels really hydrating on the skin, but it also looks really beautiful too. I love the finish of it. I haven't worn this in a very long time. I just kind of forgot about it to be honest with you, but this is one of my favorites when I did buy it. So I'm gonna pump like a little bit on my hand. I feel like with this foundation though, you do have to really like build it up. It's taking me a little bit to get it the coverage that I want. So I usually go in with about three to four pumps of it, but the look of it is very, very pretty. It's really, really like kind of um, like dewy in a way. It's so pretty. This color actually really is not bad for me either. It's looking pretty good. It's a little yellow, but I think we can work with it. So now I'm gonna go in with the Shape Tape Concealer in Light. And with this, I almost like to highlight with it so I will bring it out a little bit. And I do put a little bit on my chin and forehead. This is a really nice concealer to highlight your face with. It is a full coverage kind of concealer and I just really love the formula of this. I think it's really nice and it smells so good. I just love the way it smells. Now that we are blended baby, I'm gonna go into this Mer Makeup vault in this vault we have so many products to play with but i really want to use these makeup brushes let me just hold this up it is a three-tier vault it is huge so we have one two three four five brushes to play with and i really want to use this big fluffy one this is really really pretty i love the handles on these they are mermaid tails i can't say that i haven't seen a mermaid brush before i have i own mermaid brushes but i feel like these are more quality than the ones that i do own they feel a little bit more like heavy and overall they feel really soft. So I'm hoping that they work really well. The ones I do own that are mermaid brushes, they don't really work that well and they feel really cheap. And I can't really say that these feel like that. They feel definitely a little bit more high quality than that. I'm gonna be using the Smooth Operator Finishing Powder in Fair. And I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with this. It overall feels really soft on my skin. Like I don't feel any scratchiness or any like bristles. 
I really put my brushes through it because I do looks every single day. But this is great for someone if you're gifting it to someone or if you're someone that doesn't really go ham on your makeup if you're just doing everyday looks for everyday wear. I think this is really, really cute and I do like the little design on the tail. It's kind of like ombre. Overall, I feel like this worked really well. It feels really nice. We are gonna use the other brushes. So next up, we're gonna be using the Mermaid Eyeshadow Palette from the collection. This isn't a crazy out there mermaid palette, which I think is really nice that everyone can wear no matter what day it is. It's just very wearable. So I love the fact that it is a shell and you get that mermaid vibe and then inside you have some wearable, really beautiful kind of like traditional tart colors. Have I seen this design before? Yes, I have. I've seen mermaid palettes. I actually have a mermaid. Hold on a second. So this palette here was like a viral eyeshadow palette and this is from the Peachy Queen blog on Instagram. As you can see, the scale design on the palette is pretty much the same here. There is more obviously scales in this palette and more glitters and stuff, but you can see the idea there with the scales being like eyeshadow. I'm not saying that this palette is like ripped off from this one. I'm just giving you comparison. I think it is a really pretty idea and I actually really love the way it was executed in both palettes. And I also really like the way that this looks on the outside. I feel like that's what kind of made me really like this palette. It's not so much the design on the inside, but the fact that it's shaped like a little seashell is really, really cute. So here's a look at the palette. It has a really beautiful blue tone to it. And this is actually soft. On the outside, it feels so nice. It is a little bit more of a heavier palette, so you can feel that it's quality. And here's the inside, so beautiful. One thing that I love about Tarte palettes is the gold they use on all their products. It just makes everything look more luxury. It's very mature looking. Like I feel like anyone can use it, but I still think it speaks to my inner child because I love mermaids. I mean, I'm an adult, but I still love mermaids. So I feel like this is perfect for me. I think it's really cute. I'm gonna prime my arm with a little bit of the Shape Tape Concealer, just so we can get a base going that's pretty even. So the first shade we have is Nude Beach. Ooh, that's very pretty. So that's Nude Beach. Next we have Froze. Very pretty colors here, wow. So next we have Cavern. Next we have Shore Thing, and this is actually a matte. Let me do that a little bit more justice there. Could have swatched that one better, so my fault there. So next we have Mermosa. Ooh, that is pretty. And now we have Sandbar, another matte. So now I'm gonna swatch the shade Shell, yeah. And this is like a bronze color. Now I'm going to go in and swatch the shade Beach Please. And now I'm going to swatch Fantastic. So now we have the shade Shipwreck and this is a matte that's in the palette. So these mattes, they so far need to be a little bit built up. The foils seem to be kind of like one swipe colors. Next we have Splash, which I think is the prettiest color in this palette just looking at it. And now we have Salt Water which is another like foiled metallic looking eyeshadow. Next we have the shade Bubbles, which looks like a really iridescent color. It's kind of like a pink and then it has a hint of blue in it, which I think is really cool. It looks almost purple. So now I'm gonna swatch Lagoon. And this is the last color in the palette. This is a dark blue. So looking at it, it looks pretty colorful. Although it looks wearable, it, it still has color in there, which I think is really pretty. The pan size is pretty small. I did notice that as I was kind of dipping in. It's a little difficult to put your whole finger in, which, I mean, we're using brushes, so it should be a little easier, but these scales are pretty small, and majority of the palette is the packaging, and the eyeshadows are pretty small. No tea, no shade, just keeping it real. So to prime my eyes, I'm first gonna go in with the Shape Tape Concealer, and I'm just gonna dot that onto my eyes like that. So I'm gonna be using these two really pretty shadow brushes from the brushes set. I think that these will work really well for this look because I'm not gonna be doing anything too crazy. I wanna do a really pretty bronzy mermaid, something really bronze and gold, like a mermaid just came out of the water and she's ready to go sit on a rock and slay. So the first shade I'm gonna pick up is called Sandbar and I'm gonna start putting this into the crease. And I'm using the more flat eyeshadow brush. This looks like a lid brush, but I'm gonna actually use it in the crease. There's also a mirror in this palette and I'm using it and it's working really well so far. 
So this shadow is really nicely pigmented. It's blending super easily for me. And then I'm gonna take that shade on the pencil brush and bring it under the eye. So now I'm gonna grab the shade Mermosa and I'm gonna go ahead and pop that all over the lid. This looks like a really pretty shade. So I just wanna put this all over the eyelid. Wow, that is so pretty. And I'm just taking that shade and I'm actually going right over all of the matte that we laid down and I'm just placing the shimmer over it. So now I'm going to grab the shade here called Cavern. And this is like a brown bronze color. I'm just gonna place this right in the very outer corner of the eye. And I'm using this on the pencil brush to almost lay down a little bit of like an eyeliner on the lash line. And lastly, I'm gonna be grabbing the shade Shell Yeah, which is the really pretty bronze color in the palette. I'm actually gonna wet it with the Mer Mist. Ooh, that smells so good. I cannot wait to spritz that on my face. It smells so amazing. I'm just gonna go ahead and place that on the lid. And I am taking some of that color and I'm just bringing it under the eye. I'm not picking up anymore. I'm just blending this underneath the eye. Now just to highlight the whole eye look, I'm gonna grab the shade Nude Beach and I'm just gonna pop this on the inner corner and also the brow bone. I'm gonna go ahead and line my waterline with the Fake Awake Liner from Tarte. I love that it's not like white, it's like a nude, so it's like perfect. So now I'm gonna be using their new eyelash curler from the Mermaid Collection, and this is probably the cutest, probably the prettiest eyelash curler that I own. I really, really love this. I love that it's like a little mermaid fin. I think that's so cute. And I love the color too. I think it's really pretty. So I'm just gonna quickly curl my eyelashes. Now I'm gonna coat my lashes in the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, and Tarte usually repackages this mascara for every collection, and I really love the packaging on this. It's so beautiful. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this mascara. So I'm gonna be using the Park Avenue Princess Shimmer Bronzer. They have a matte one, but this one I thought would be perfect for this mermaid look, and I'm gonna be using it on the bronzer brush. And I'm just gonna use this shade to really warm up my face. And this bronzer is really nice to use basically all over the face. There's like no streaks at all. It is really pretty to just make you look tanner and more beachy. So I love this one for that. And I basically just put it all over my face and I do put it on my body too to make myself look really tan. And now I'm gonna go into the Park Avenue Princess Contouring and Highlighting Palette. And I'm gonna pick up this shade called Angle and I'm gonna go ahead and pop that right into the hollow of my cheek. And I'm also gonna really bronze up my hairline as well. And I'm just gonna go in with the same bronzer brush and I'm gonna be picking up the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Captivating. I'm just gonna brush that on the front of the cheeks too to give me like a really pretty tan. One thing about the Mer Volt, which is the collection I'm using with everything in it, is it has all the products, but Tarte did not launch any mermaid like bronzers or blushes or highlights. So if you are gifting the Volt to someone, you might wanna pick out like a blush or bronzer to go with it because these brushes cannot really be used with anything besides the eyeshadow palette and there's just two eye brushes and then you have the three face brushes which you don't have anything to use with that. So I would recommend if you are gifting this to someone, you might wanna purchase something a little bit extra to add to it just so that they can utilize the face brushes. So now I'm gonna be highlighting with the Tardis Pro Glow, and this is my favorite highlighting palette from Tarte. For highlight, I'm gonna be using this shade up here called Lit. I love this color, it is so like bronzy and beautiful. And I'm really going for that look today, so I'm just gonna be slathering this all over my face. And I'm gonna be using the highlight brush that is in the Mer Volt. So before I highlight my face, I love to go in with like a setting mist first. So I'm gonna be using the Mer Mist, and this is a shimmer spray. Oh my gosh, it seriously smells amazing. This smells so good. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, it smells so freaking good. I love it. It has like sparkles in it. So when I look up close, I do have some sparkles on my skin, but I like the sparkles. I think the sparkles are really pretty. So I overall love this. I think this is beautiful. And if you look at the packaging, it has like these water droplets on it. So it looks like it's wet.
So I'm gonna grab the shade Strobe. This is the lightest shade in the highlighting palette. And I'm gonna go on the very high points of the highlight, right on the tops of the cheeks. And I'm just gonna go over that a little bit more to bring some more intensity into the highlight. You can see that you can literally connect the highlight into these shadows and it just looks so beautiful. So Tarte launched the Lip Paint and Exposed in this beautiful packaging for the Mermaid Collection and it looks like a seashell or like an oyster up here, but I really like it. I feel like this is the kind of nude I'd wear. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this on. So lastly, I'm gonna spritz my face with the Mer Mist because I cannot get enough of this right now. It feels so good. So what we have left to use from the collection is the Mermaid Glitter Gel, which I'm so excited about. We have the Mer Sequins, Mermaid Jewels, Mermaid Lashes, and we also have this gloss here. So Tarte has included some colored lashes. These are their Mermaid Lashes in this collection. And I love how there's a base of black, so you still get that really dark definition. But over the top, you have these shades of blue, green, purple, and pink. These lashes are so beautiful. The glue is still drying, so you might be able to see it a little bit, but you can see the colors on these lashes when I look down, like, oh, they're so gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do to amp up this mermaid look is I'm gonna jump back into the mermaid palette. I'm gonna grab this shade down here called Lagoon, and I'm gonna go ahead and start to blend this on the lower lash line. And now I'm gonna grab the shade Splash, which is the really pretty mermaid blue in this palette and I'm gonna bring this more towards the inner corner of the eye on the lower lash line. So now I'm gonna pop on the holographic lip gloss and I looked this up on the website. It says lip paint, but it is a gloss. So I'm gonna put this on. This is such a beautiful color too. It looks like a lavender shade. So we have some mermaid face jewels. I wanted to talk about these because I think these are awesome for festival looks or just really creative looks in general. They're really fun to play with and they're really beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick these on first. We have these here that I kind of want to put under the eyes because they look like they would fit perfectly. So these are just one of many ways you could stick these on. You could even put these right here. You could put them up here. Looking at them in the package, they're not as sparkly, but on the face, they definitely do pop more than I originally thought. So I think these are really gorgeous. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stick this one on my chest. Ooh, I love that. And they're actually sticking really well. They're not like lifting on the edges or anything. So onto the mermaid gel. This is an iridescent mermaid glitter. Wow, that is gorgeous. And I'm also gonna start applying it to my chest. And I'm gonna apply it to my shoulders too. Ooh, this is so pretty. This is really, really beautiful. Can you imagine this at a festival? It is gorgeous. This is so amazing. So now I'm going to apply the sequence. So how I'm going to apply the sequence is I'm gonna lay down some pure pop pot ointment. You can use Vaseline, anything like that works great and ointment is what you want to use. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start applying it around the center of the chest piece and kind of coming outwards. And then I'm gonna dip my brush in the sequence. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit more of that ointment to my shoulders, and then I'm gonna apply a little bit more of the glitter. Wow, that is really beautiful. I'm so impressed with the way this applied. I feel like definitely if a person was buying this and they didn't know that they needed Vaseline to adhere the sequence, then it would cause some trouble for you. It would probably not stick at all. These sequins are not going to adhere with makeup or with any product like that. You are definitely gonna need an ointment to apply them, so just keep that in mind. So now I'm gonna take the Mer Mist and I'm gonna spritz this all over my body for an all over glow. All right, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna go do my hair and then we can try out the wave spray. So we have one last item to try and that is the Mermaid Waves Spray. So it says on their website that the Make Waves Salt Spray is a vegan hair texturizing spray loaded with sea salt for easy windswept mermaid waves. I actually have a wig on right now that is my exact same hair color. So I'm gonna make this a little bit more beachy by adding in this spray. So I'm just gonna start adding this into my hair and scrunching it. So it'll really enhance all the waves in this 
wig. Make it look kind of beachy. When I was purchasing this collection on their site, they had an option to put crown as a discount code and then they sent this mermaid crown. Since I got this mermaid crown, I'm gonna put it on. All right, you guys, so let's talk about all the products and I'm gonna give you guys my top three that I really loved. And this is actually really hard because I really enjoyed this collection a lot. Number one being the Be A Mermaid and Make Waves eyeshadow palette. I thought this was a really beautiful palette. It is very wearable. You can take it from more of a golden mermaid into a more kind of festival mermaid like I have on right now. Is this an everyday palette? The shades are definitely everyday, but this is a heavier palette, so just keep that in mind. It is very heavy and these pan sizes in here are much smaller than other Tarte palettes and other palettes in general that I own so I just wanted to mention that there's pros and cons to everything and overall this was one of my favorite products in the collection I feel like this really caters to just about everyone you don't have any crazy wild colors in here just pops of color that you can kind of bring that mermaid vibe into. I did really love these lashes. I think they're perfect for creative looks and festival looks. I think they're beautiful when you're looking down. You can see these gorgeous colors and the style of them is so flattering. I just really loved the lashes. These brushes are also really beautiful. Like I said before, would I dip into these every day? Probably not because they're very pretty and they're more for a collector. And they're, for me, something that I would collect and not necessarily want to damage or use overly. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but when I see brushes like this, I do not want to use them. I just want to stare at them all day and I use them for special occasion type things or if I'm doing a look where I want to show you guys some beautiful brushes, I wouldn't want to damage them if that makes sense. So lastly, I wanted to mention that one of my favorite products from this collection was the glitter gel. I feel like this is very unique from Tarte because we're used to seeing a lot of eyeshadow palettes from them, a lot of really wearable products, and I feel like they're really stepping out with this collection because I've never seen any glitter from them like this. So I know a lot about glitter, I've ingested it, I've had it in my eyeballs, I've had it up my nose, I've had it in my hair for days, for weeks, it's like in the cracks of my floors, but I just know a lot about glitter and I know a lot about textures of glitter, and I have to say this is a really unique type of glitter, it's kind of chunky but not, it doesn't feel like thick on the skin, but I really like it because it's scaly. It looks like mermaid scales. So they really embodied that with this glitter gel and it's really easy to apply. So if you do not wanna use something like this, this is a great alternative because it already has adhesive in it because it is glitter gel. I could literally talk about glitter all day, but I'm just gonna sum it up for you guys. I really like the glitter from this collection. I thought it was great and this really impressed me and I think it looks really beautiful on the skin because it kinda has an iridescent like holographic color to it. It turns from like lavender to blue to pink. I actually had a lot of fun doing this glitter and it's really, really fun to play with and you guys We'll see that if you do end up trying it, but I absolutely love the way this looks. I could totally see this at a festival and I would totally do this if I was going to a festival because I think it is gorgeous. If you guys love this collection and you love this video, be sure you like it and subscribe. And don't forget to let me know down below what products were your favorite that I use. And if you love my look, do you like the wearable mermaid or do you like the more daytime, nighttime mermaid. I would love to hear your thoughts. And I just wanna thank you guys so much again for watching. I hope the rest of your week is absolutely amazing and I will see you in my next tutorial.